both sides. Luba, you want to come in my test? Yeah. We'll arrange a deal then. No, I'm telling you, man, it's true. Hey there. What's up, man? Have you seen Tanya? She's somewhere here. Dude, did you see what she did? <laughs> oh, you scared me. No, oh, stop. I've got an eyelash. Hey. Give me your hand. Come on. Make a wish and blow it off. I think I got it. Blow it off. Hey, how are you, it? sir? <laughs> <sighs> what was your wish? I can't tell you where it won't come true. <sighs> oh, I'll get you guys now. Run! <laughs> Oh, watch it. I'm gonna get past you. <laughs> All right. Get it, get it, get it. Teresa, come let's on. go. This way. Let us begin. Tanya. Hey, Tanya, let me copy you. Tanya. What are you doing? Arishkina. Would I want to? Well, back off, man. <laughs> Roma! Oh, oh, hey. Versening! Hey, hey. Versening! Hey, hey, Leave chill the up. classroom. Chill, dude. Vasya, chill. Vasya, Vasya. Sit, sit, Vasya. Bodyguard. <laughs> Orishkina, sit down right now. Koshkina, have you all gone crazy? Madam, we're sorry. I, it's just I gotta go. Bunch of nut bars. Cereza, what if Lydia gives you the lowest grade? You won't be able to graduate. You really shouldn't have. Oh, but I should have. He's a straight <laughs> jackass. I'll strangle him with my bare hands. Don't even think of strangling him. Why are you defending him, huh? I'm not defending him. I'm worried about you. I don't want you to get bad marks because of me. Oh, come on. You act like getting a B on your report card is all that bad. Mm-hmm. I'll just have to say goodbye to my birthday camera. What are we doing for your birthday? I suggest we go to the river. Huh? Campfire? Barbecues? Some guitar? Sound good? That's a great idea. Yeah, sounds good to me. Ask her grandma to let you go. She won't let me go. Oh, don't let her rule you. No, it's impossible to do with my grandma. And they won't let you go as well if Lydia gives you the lowest grade. Sup, Dad? Huh? Give you a hand there? Ah, uh, no worries. There's nothing to help you with. Give me the plug wrench, though. Um, all right. How goes school? I mean, it's cool. Father, listen, can I take the bike out Saturday evening? <laughs> that is, hey if there. our horse will live to see Saturday, son. That's the question. Where are you going exactly? It's just that it's Fasia's birthday. We uh, want to go to the river. All right. Then try it. Try it? What are you talking about? Do you want to catch a cold? What river are you going to? Mom, what am I, a little boy? Are you a big boy? 
All right, tell me. Didn't you see the mobile store on your way home from school? I didn't. All right, son. Get inside, then. So, leave your bone shaker. Why is that? Let's go in. Wash your hands so we can well, eat. You go. I just go. have to... Go. What do you mean? Get to the table. Come on, I said. Come with me. Let's go. Inside. Oh, Valya. Valya what? What bike? You're unbelievable. Why are you goading him like that? Oh, let him go Wait, already. let him go He's where? A big boy. Those ideas all the time. He needs to study. Ah. Everything against my will, right? Everything yes, against right. my go. will. Okay. Smells good. Please, pour me some more. Mm-hmm. Mm. Valia, I mm. need to replace the piston group soon. It's already on the ropes, really. Or perhaps... We should buy a new car instead. I mean, we've got some money, huh? What piston group? What car is this? We need to save more money. Cereza is finishing up the 11th grade. He's going to the university. He'll have to rent a flat. How much is that gonna cost us? Filling up his fridge? Just think about it. All right, I get you. Here, have some bread. Mom, the year has just started. It will end in the blink of an eye, you'll see. I know. If you let loose now, you won't catch up later. Therefore, no river trip. So I don't have the right to go to my friend's birthday party or what? What kind of birthday is it? By the cold river? Cereza, think about your studies. To become a useful man. So I'm not a man, that right? Without education, you're a half man. Your dad and I have been working our whole life for what? Cereza, your mom is right, you know. You have to study, son. You do. What other hope do we have in life, hmm? Here we go. That's my cue. That's it. I'll talk to you later. Go ahead. I'll be back later. Ugh. <sighs> Teaching a fool is like curing a dead man. Whom do you mean? I mean you there. A car? Are you kidding me? What are you starting over on Eat, Amelia? eat, Come honey. On. Eat all you want. Ugh. <sighs> uh. Oh, <laughs> you little inventor, you. Make soup out of her. Look at that, <laughs> you two. <laughs> Grandma, what are you talking about? Nopka will get better. Right, get better. She'll still be lame anyway. She won't be lame. I'm telling you cheap. this is a future doctor. Cheap, 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 cheap. Look, look, going to the doctor, are you? Please. Who's going to do your homework for you, Pushkin? There's no help. You'll have to break through on your own. It's in your hands and no one else's. You'd better do your homework instead of this nonsense. It's the only way you'll have a chance, dear. We tried already, but we can't do it, really. Try again, then, you lazy girls. We'll copy Cereza's homework. Right, that's what I'm saying. Pushkin's a waste of time. You'll blow it. There you go. Grandma, Masha's cheep, cheep, joking. Cheep. We're not going to copy Cereza's homework. Oh, here comes our help from the other side. Oh. Look who's dropped by to see us. Yes, and some oatmeal, please. We've only got extra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. How much do I owe you? Five fifty. Take it. Here you go. Thank you. Yes, thank you all. Oh, Hello. madam, nice to see you. How's my Cereza doing? Uh, I wanted to visit with you and have a chat. Is there something wrong? No, nothing wrong exactly. Not yet. But you should take some measures. Don't scare me like this, oh, lady. I beg you. to be scared of yet, believe me. Cereza is a bright boy, but his head is filled with the wrong things at this point. Tanya Arishkina is driving him off the road. He started a fight in class today. This disrupts his studies. Yes, I understand. I didn't tell the principal for now, no. Uh, but if it happens again, well, you understand. Wean Cereza off of her for his sake. Do it. She's not a serious girl, that one. That's if you want him to study at the university. He'll give up all his studies over her. Thank you. I will surely take measures. Immediately. Please do. And thank you. That's it. Mm hmm. That's right. That right there. No need to even check it. Cereza the genius. <laughs>
Tea time. We got patties. Ooh. <sighs> <laughs> mm. Oh, thanks Paddy so much. Paddy pan squash is the same as marrow squash, uh, but the marrow squash looks like this, Fun and the patty pancake. pan squash like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sergey, come on. Come on, let's go home. Dahlia, why aren't you saying hello, huh? Hello, good afternoon. I need to see Cereza, it's urgent. Mom, what's up? Sergey, did, is something wrong? Something is. You go. I'll follow. Who am I talking to? Let's go home right now. Valya, why don't you have some tea with us like a neighbor? We don't have time for tea. Did you hear me, Cereza? <laughs> what bee's gotten into her bonnet? So what's going on here? What? Why are you hanging out here all the time? Does it smell like honey to you? Why should you care? I can't believe you're talking to me this way. I'm disappointed. I'm talking the way you're making me. Son, look. Son, my dear, you need to understand me, hon. I'm becoming so worried about you. You've forgotten about everything since you started coming over here. You've forgotten about your studies. She's no good for you, dear. Mom, it's my business who I make friends with and where I go. No, you're wrong. I'm your mother and it's my business. You won't be coming here again. Mother, I love Tanya. What love is that? Tell me, what love? This is your graduation year. You understand? You have to think about your future. With her, you won't get anything higher than a Please C. Please stop. Stop this, Mother. Don't start with all of this, Mom. Start with what? Do you want to stay here for the rest of your life, dear? Here in this hole? Listen to me. Listen to your mother. You need to run away from here. You need to study, you understand? Study, study, so that you can get into the university with honors. Mom, leave me alone. I don't care about that university. You understand me? That's your university, not my call. What do you mean, not your call? What does that mean? I don't get you. Sergey, come back. <sighs> Han, listen. Mm -hmm. What do we do now? Ceres is totally out of control. We're doing everything for him. He just needs to study. And now he's in love, right? Oh, settle down. He's young, after all. He's still just a child. Huh. I mean, 11th grade. So that's a child now? I was working hard at the collective farm, and I was still in 8th grade. What the, what the hell are you talking about? Times are different now, and the opportunities. Sir, is a wait. Don't walk me. You better go and make peace with your mom for me. I'm not going to make peace with her. I didn't do anything. Well, make peace with her anyway. Okay? All right, I will for you. Because you're so wonderful. A dream come true. Enough, go now. Look, if we don't take measures now, this poverty will cripple his entire life. I know what I say. Listen, sweetheart. I think you're pushing too hard. I really do. Be careful. You could break him like this. So I should give up? Wait and see where the road will take I him? I didn't say you had to give up on him. Well, I don't know. You should be kind. Cut the corners somehow. But you're going straight, like a tank. Yeah, you're good at cutting corners, running with the hare and hunting with the hounds. I just want everything to be normal, darling. Lose or win. Why do you keep sighing, my dear? Grandma, have you salted the soup? I sure have, sweetheart. This is what I'm going to tell you. Cereza, your boyfriend, is wonderful. 
But it's all too early for you, understand? Too early. No, I'll be 18 soon. Oh, finish high school, attend the university. Wait for the student years to pass. Grandma, we're not getting married anytime soon, you know? Well, thank God that, dear. <laughs> At least you've got that going for you. That Miss Valia is not gonna let her Cereza go just like that. She's not gonna accept you together anyway. You be mindful, you hear? Grandma, no more rants, all right? Mm. You sweet girl. Hmm. But such a mm. fool. <laughs> ah. Hello, and good afternoon. Oh, Tanya, dear. Uh, Tanya, hun. Come over here. <sighs> Let's have a chat. What about? It's about Cereza. Tanya, you know how talented he is, how good he is at his math. His photo is on the board of honor. He's their best pupil. Tanya, talk to him, will you? Speak to him, please. He shouldn't give up on math. He can't just bury his talent, Tanya. Persuade him. He's not listening to his parents. We're no longer an authority figure to him. But he will listen to you, hmm? No, yes, he will. I'll talk to him, I promise. Thank you, dear. Thank you very much. It's no problem. Goodbye now. Good luck. Tanya, what's up? Invite me in for tea. Perhaps you have nowhere to sleep as well? How'd you know? Well, come later then. I'll ready things as usual. Tanya. Tanya, look. L look what I got. My parents bought me a phone. Look. I'm very happy for you. Don't you want to look at it? Yeah, she'll talk to him. hell for this. Your grandma won't know anything. Hush, you'll wake her up, you know? There. Look, we'll be as quiet as mice. I've got a present waiting for us both. You serious? Red is for the ladies, and blue is for the gentlemen. This is incredibly important. Well, this is how I roll. <laughs> oh, don't. I'll do it myself. Yeah, this thing got stuck. Be careful. We can't be out late, OK? And why not? Because I promised your mother that I wouldn't distract you from your studies. I'm not distracted. I'm resting. Moreover, tomorrow's a day off. Come on, smile for me. Smile, come on, don't be shy. Oh, look who decided to show up. Help! Hey, guys. Hello. Hello. Uh, 
Hmm? Oh, happy birthday. Thanks, Tanya. It's good you made it. Happy birthday, sir. Well, uh, would you bring me a book? No, this is a photo album, Sylvia. What's up? You knew I needed one. Uh, I'm psychic. <laughs> Thanks so much, brother. It's awesome. So, Razor, you think you can take me home, please? What's wrong with you? I'm already tired of this. Have you both had another fight again? Let him go to hell. Stop. Masha, give me your hand. All right, now, give me your little finger. What's up? What's up? What's your little up? fingers, like that. Yeah. Make friends. Make friends. And never Come on break now, make friends. friends. And don't fight anymore. Uh, cool. Give it to me. Kiss me, too. Kiss him. Kiss Come on, Masha. One more time for the camera, guys. <laughs> Smile. It's your wedding photo. Now once again. <laughs> and... Opa! <laughs> Cereza, sing a song. Let's do it. You got I your kiss. I want another one. Here you go. Okay. Uh, R1. Uh, huh? <laughs> Come on now. Oh, sure. <laughs> Why are you so angry? Hmm? It's nothing. It's just you haven't been paying attention to me all evening. I spent two worlds of color film on you. And that's not enough for me. You're insatiable. Едем в магазин за звездами с лицами вполне серьезными мне галактику тебе галактику мы засели мы их. Синицами аплодируй мне, ресницами ты красавица, тебе понравится берега, мы два разных берега, как же ты мне дорога, как мне быть, страдать и значит любить, мы как будто берега. В моем сердце только ты будешь жить. Ну а как иначе? В небе облака барашками я спешу к тебе с ромашками в новых сапогах с улыбкой на губах. Девушки всегда. Ломаются, но мои мечты сбываются. Ты красавица, тебе понравится берега. Мы два разных берега. Как же ты мне дорога? Как мне быть? Страдать и значит любить. Мы как будто берега. В моем сердце только ты будешь жить. Ну а как иначе? Ай-я! Thanks a lot, dude. Listen, guys. Thank you very much for coming to my birthday. I'm incredibly pleased. Now I want us to meet here next year together, and the year after that, meet here every year, huh? Who's with me? Every year? Come on, we wouldn't meet up in 10 years. Come on, what are you saying? No, wait, listen, you all. What would keep us from meeting in 10 years? Right, and see who became what in life. I've got an idea. Let everyone think up a wish they want. We'll write their wishes on some paper and bury the paper here, and in uh -huh. 10 years, we'll dig them out and see whether the wishes came true, huh? I think I got some paper we could of use. Of course you do, you're Easy a nerd. Now. Come on, bring the paper. Let me get them. <laughs> <sighs> Here. Yeah. What should I write, though? Here. Opa, take it.
What's this? What in the world is happening? Where have you been? I went to the river, you know, with... What are you doing with your life, sweetheart? You're too good to end up like some bad girl. Grandma, there were also other guys there. It wasn't just the two what of us. What do you mean, other guys? What do you mean, other guys? Are you already hanging out with some other guys in the dead of night? What is it, Grandma? What is it? Wait, is it your heart again? Make me worry some more. Go on ahead. Who will take care of you when I'm dead and you're alone? You're an orphan. What are you going to do out there? Forgive me, please, Grandma. Forgive My me. My dear. I'll forgive you. Of course I will. But what are you going to do without me when I'm dead and gone? Huh? Grandma, do you hear me? We have to go to the doctor. No, we don't. What doctor? What doctor, sweetheart? It's Sunday. So what? There's still a doctor on duty. I don't need a doctor. I've got... I've got some drops there. Bring them over to me, please. I'll bring them right now, but we're still going to the doctor's. <sighs> You silly girl. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, I feel much better. I mean it. We shouldn't have come here today. Grandma, of course we should have. You never know what could really be wrong with you. Oh. Be careful Watch now. Your Opa. Oh. Here it goes. Easy does it. Oh. Here we go. Thank you so much, honey. Thank you. I can go now, right, Doctor? Rest easy for a while, my dear. No, I can't sit and relax. I need to go back home. Well, rest some and then go home. The pulse is quick, Doctor. Hmm. Doctor? I don't recommend you take her home now. Your grandma needs to stay in the hospital and undergo some more evaluations than treatment. What's wrong with her? It's her age, dear. She should play it safe. Can't keep pushing <gasps> herself. No, no, no. I can't stay here. I'm a free woman. I've got my household, too. The chickens. Grandma, think I can't feed your chickens, do you? The doctor said it. You need to listen to her. And you'll end up just eating snacks, am I right? Grandma, I'll cook everything for myself. Don't worry about me, please. And let's stop arguing, all right? Go and register her, please. She's a character, that one. Mm. needs to be changed. Maybe try it once again? There's no use. What do we do now? We won't go on foot, will we? This is all because of me. I shouldn't have gone out to the river. Uh. Opa, we got rain. All right. Come on, let's run now. Our lodge isn't that far from here. What about the bike? Uh, it'll be all right. Okay, let's get going. Are you drenched? 
It's not too far now. We have our fire, it'll be all right. You're frozen, aren't you? Yeah. Take it. Change, you'll get cold. Just trust me. Oh, no, that's fine, I'll get warm like this. I'll look away. You're like a piece of ice. <sighs> You're okay? Because you sure are beautiful. Like a wet chicken. Why are you taking my only day off from me, huh? Zima, oh. don't be mad at me. We just have to do something. Oh, mad or not, what's the difference then? But Everyone always has something to do. Your mother and I are going crazy. They left God knows when, and it's pouring down rain, and they still aren't here. Exactly. It's pouring down rain. I bet no one's been to the hospital today. Open up. We'll call them and find out. We'll call. We'll call now. finally over so what if it is <laughs> I don't ever want to leave here our parents must be worrying their lives away let them worry I love you Tanya You know I love you as well.
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, look at what we have here. No, just look at what's going on. That's right, look what's going on. And you couldn't care less. You just stare into your glowing box, your football nonsense. Oh? Oh, what a bummer. Vanya, what do we do, huh, Vanya? Wait it out. I can't just sit here with my hands tied. I can't. No, 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 no. Vanya, I can feel it in my heart that something's happened, you know? I just feel it. Maybe they're waiting for the rain to end. What rain? The thunder's been over long ago now. There's no sign of rain. Vanya! He's a grown-up man. What are you starting, really? Get... Come on now! Do something already, for all things holy! Don't grown-up men also get into trouble? There was such a storm outside. Perhaps the bike rolled over or something. I called the hospital. You know that. No one knew has been admitted. Come on, move already! No way. I'll go out again. I'll go to the neighbors. I dropped by on my way from the post office. There's no one there, though. Valya, another half an hour, all right? If they don't show up in half an hour, I'll go to Tarasov and I'll ask for the tractor. The tractor works. I'll go and search for... No, 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 no! Ah, good for that guy. No, I'll still go. Sit down! Just relax. What in the world are they doing, huh? I hope they don't score and you lose. I'm so happy you're here. Come on, come on, come on. Balia! <laughs> Let me go, you silly oh, they man. Scored. You're a maniac. You were wrong about them, huh? <laughs> Well, where have you been? Mom, I'll explain it to you later. Cereza, let's go home right now. Tanya. Decent girls don't hang out with boys alone at night. Mom, don't say things like that to Tanya, all right? How do you want me to talk to her, then? Tanya is my girlfriend. Is that clear? Well, let me alert the media. I'm not going home until you change your tone. You could at least pretend to care. I've been calming myself with all these sedative pills. We had almost gone crazy. We've been running in circles around the house for half the night. I hope this was worth what you put us through. Tanya. She hates me more than anything. Oh, come on, stop it with that nonsense. This isn't nonsense. Mom just got nervous is all. No one would ever dare drive us apart. Tell Lydia you need to go. Lydia, I'm sorry. Urshkina. Can I leave the room, please? It's quite urgent. Do you need someone to walk you to the nurses? Koshkina, go see what's wrong with her. Uh, can I join them? No, you have a test. So tell me, still feel bad? Uh-huh. What's wrong? I'm sick, I'm literally turning out, and I feel dizzy. 
But you're not pregnant, are you? Tanya, is there something I don't know? Oh, God. How will I tell my grandmother? All right, hold on. Don't panic. Don't say anything to your grandma or Cereza yet. Well, not yet, at least. <gasps> She's got a delicate heart. We'll think of something. What will we think of, though? Well, we'll figure it out somehow. How will we figure it out? We'll go and see a doctor and find everything out. You should eat before you go. No, thanks. I'm not that hungry. Why wouldn't you be hungry? I bet you won't come back before this evening, right? And I just don't understand something. Why do you need this book for... for new admissions now? Isn't it too early? Grandma, I have to get ready for admission in advance. I've already agreed to meet up with Masha. Here. Thank you. Oh, look at that. I don't understand what is happening with her, dear God. Mm. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Your last name? Ah, Orishkina. Orishkina. Okay, Orishkina. What is ailing you? Well, the thing is, uh, well, you see. <sighs> Go behind there. Take off your clothes, dear. Mm hmm. So, what's up? Tanya, please tell me something or I'll burst into tears. How far along? I'm looking at four weeks. This is actually good. You found out in advance, something can still be done. What's that now? You know. Are you out of your mind or what? I'm not doing that. Tanya. Tanya. I've been searching the whole village for you. Masha said that you were here. What happened to you? Tanya, what's going on with you? Sorry, Zah. Remember how I felt all sick at school? I do. I went to see the doctor today. You did? Is it something serious now? I don't know how to put it. You, you and I are gonna have a baby. Now that's some news. You... Didn't you tell me that you loved me? That you and I are going to get married? Uh, 
Well, uh, of course I love you. Hmm, of course I do. Uh, we're gonna tell everything to our parents right now. Oh, no, 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 no way. I'm afraid to. What for? What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of, huh? They're gonna be happy for us. Are you... Are you happy about this? Well, well of course I am. Of course, babe. Here's what we'll do. We'll go to Moscow. We'll go to university there. And I'm gonna find a job. I'll work part-time as well. Yo, we'll be raising a baby. Everything's gonna be fine. Really? Really. Really? Are you really, really happy? I'm really, really happy. Man, I was so afraid to tell you, Teresa. You and I are gonna be all right. Just don't take too much time. Tell your grandma right now. Meanwhile, I'll tell my parents too. As long as we're together, we have nothing to fear. What's up, my dear? You left with Masha, but came back with Sir Vreza. Ah, uh, he met me at the station, and then he just gave me a ride. Ah, well, well. Are you going to eat? No, thanks. I'm not hungry. How come? What have you been eating all day? Is that why? Have you bought the books already? Have you bought the books for your admissions? Huh? Did you buy the books? The school? Ah, uh, no, they've run out of the books. Mosh and I'll go again during the summer. Uh. Grandma, have you had your drops today? Let me drip you some drops. There's no need. Grandma, do you remember the uh, series we watched on TV? There was Katya, right? Yes, I remember. I remember. What are you getting at? Well, and she also had a boyfriend. And? Why do you pussyfoot around? What happened to you? Just tell me. Grandma, we... So Reza and I decided to get married. Are you completely out of your minds? <laughs> and we're going to have a baby. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Grandma, drink this. No. Dear God, children. What in the world is happening? This is such a sin, Tanya, dear. Tanya, honey. Grandma. Honey. They're going to kick you out of school now. Grandma, no one's going to kick me out of school. These are not Soviet times anymore. No. It's a shame, my dear. At least your parents didn't live to see the shame you've committed. Grandma, why is it a shame? Sereza and I, we love each other. How come, you guys? How will you be able to go to school with a... Grandma, baby? stop. Oh, 
one and disgrace she's brought upon us. <laughs> oh, dear God, what a shame, what a shame this has become. Cereza, do you even understand that you're destroying your whole life now? Mom, mom. Don't mom, mom her, boy. Listen to what you're told. Don't you mom her. Cereza, tell us, what do you want? You'll be changing diapers instead of going to school, then the army, and I'm not sure she'll wait for you. Cereza. Cereza, you there? Mom, Tanya, she's not like that. She's like... Well, of course she's not like that. She went to bed with you. Don't say things like that about Tanya. Moreover, I... I'm not giving up on school. It's part of the plan. Wonderful. What a relief. Do you hear that? He's not giving up on school. And you and I are going to subsidize this whole endeavor. I'll find a part-time job. Hmm. You've got it all worked out. Why not? You don't need a diploma to twist a bull's tail. Let him go to the farm and work as a, a cattleman. He's a grown man. Can't you see that? It's his destiny. Why do you confuse him all the time with your encouragement? Cereza, we're not against Tanya. Really, get married if you want to, but a bit later. First, you have to finish school, enter the university and get your degree to get on your feet, and then get married. Tanya has to study, too. A baby is not the same as a cat or a dog. It takes every second you have. In short, the baby has to be taken care of immediately. But of course, this problem can be easily taken care of. What do you mean exactly, Mom? Tanya is a clever girl. She understands that she has no right to break your life, her life, the baby's life, after all. Cereza, your mom is right. She's right. You have to think about the future. And this baby will undo everything you've worked for. And destroy any chance of a good life. Do you even understand what you're talking about? Oh, goodness gracious. Hmm. Valya, I don't know. Perhaps we, we should We damn well should. Oh, hush, 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 come on, come on, stop. Enough, enough. Now that's enough with the crying. If it happened, then it's supposed to be so, dear. If God gave this child to us, then we'll give birth to it and raise it like an angel. Thank you, Grandma. Oh, dear. My darling, what are you thanking me for? I am here for you, don't worry. <sighs> don't you worry. Sir Reza said that you all be happy for us. Oh God, my dear, you're so naive. You're still so silly, you know. What mother would be happy to hear such news at your age? Valya literally carries Sir Reza in her teeth like he's still a puppy. And now there's such news like this. Mm. He hasn't even finished school. This isn't going to go well at all, dear. Sir Reza and I have decided we're still going to school. And very soon we'll hire a nanny and we're going to move. Sir Reza will also work part-time. I hope to God. I hope to God. I hope you're right, dear. No, your Sir Reza is a decent guy. He's a wonderful guy. I understand you're both quite innocent. You're good. You're good. You're good. <sighs> Cereza, listen. Listen, son, I understand everything. You won't have to do anything, sweetheart. Do you hear me? You won't have to do anything at all. Your dad and I will go and speak to your dear Tanya. We'll persuade her, all right? She'll agree, really. Don't worry about that. Your dad and I aren't animals, you know. We're doing all we can. This is all just for you, Cereza. Just for you, my son. Mom. All right, I'll stop, I'll stop. Your headaches, right? You better go and lie down. You need your rest, huh? We'll arrange everything, go on. And just don't worry so much.
Once we graduate, we'll be able to move to the city. Masha told me that she has some relatives that live over there. In some kind of employee dormitory, they rent out cheap rooms. <laughs> You're looking too far ahead into the future. How come? You told me that time flies by so fast. Yes, it really does. Like sand running through fingers. It slips away. Tanya, in case something happens, the money's over there behind the picture. What in the world do you think could happen? Well, anything can happen. I'm not going to live forever, you know. Grandma, what are you saying? You're crazy. You're going to get to see your great-grandchild. <laughs> now go get into your room quickly. Well, hello, hello. Uh, Valya, yeah, hello, guys. I'll make some tea, all right? Uh, that sounds great. I'll be back in a second, yes. Be right back. <clears throat> On God's green earth are you talking about, Valya? How can you even say that? That's monstrous. To go and murder God's child. You think breeding the poor is better? This is not the destiny that I wanted for my baby. Oh, come on, say something. <laughs> you see, the thing is this, though. They both still have to go to school. Get an education, both of them. How can they marry now, then? They're still kids themselves. Cool, 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 cool. What is it? It's cool. It's okay. It was your parents. They want. Yeah. They want. They want me to get rid of our child and have an abortion. Why aren't you saying anything? Perhaps we should really finish our education first. Uh, so you've decided everything now? What have we decided? I mean, for me. Tanya. You and I will get married, and we will have children. I mean that. But, you know, later. Why should we go and complicate our lives now? This problem can be easily solved. I get it now. What do you get? I get that you betrayed us. Tanya. <laughs> Tanya! <laughs> Myself a dress for the autumn ball. I was afraid that I wouldn't make it in time. <laughs> you like it? Awesome. You'll be the best belle at the ball. You bet I will. <sighs> what?
What if someone steals this beauty beside me? Well, I'll be in the army the next autumn, hmm? What makes you think they'll make you join the army? You're gonna go study at a university. Ah. No. I've been thinking, though. I'd better stay in the village. I'll go to work as a mechanic. My dad promised me to arrange it. Huh? What an amazing idea. Yeah. Perhaps you should stay here and not go to the city, too. Come on. What? Are you completely nuts or what? <sighs> what exactly am I going to do here? With no education, no job? Am I going to twist tails of pigs and cows? Oh, I'll, I'll lose my mind here. I've been waiting forever for this year to end. And you think I should stay? So this is how it is, right? You got nothing to do by my side. Yeah, you can't figure something stop. out? I wanted to marry you. I was going to ask you to get married in the summer. Married? Yeah. Are you out of your mind, Vasya? Well, look at you. I'm talking to you like a normal Vas. person, and she... Vas. Vasya, hold on. Don't go, please. What else do you need to destroy? The summer's not even close yet. And besides, who proposes like this anyway? Hmm? You silly boy. Hmm. Hmm. Will you marry me, though? Hmm? Hmm? How about we finish school first, hmm? School? Sure, whatever you want. <laughs> going to keep living like this. I'm at my wit's end. I'm not eternal. How are you going to be here all alone? Just you and the baby. What are you going to do? No mother, no father. No one to help you. Why are you quiet, dear? 160 over 100. Well, here it is. Right here, I told you. Don't expect any help from those people. That's right. It's become very clear now. Grandma, why are you saying that to me now? Well, why wouldn't I tell you? How wouldn't I? Just keep it to yourself. You know what? Perhaps we should listen to Valya. Hmm. We've got nothing left to do, child. Nothing. Oh, I saw that band at least two or three times. The first time I went with my boyfriend, and they're my absolute favorite. Every time they come into town, we definitely go. If you're friends, then just stay friends. <laughs> I know, Hold on no, to those I haven't feelings. been to that show yet, but I'm going to. I'm very to. serious. I love something out here. Where have you been? <laughs> Let's go. Hi. Let's get this going. Tanya, should we do your eyelashes? It's a dance, after all. No, that's all right. That'll do. You know what? Let's go to the district center and say that that vermin raped you. I'll testify that he used to hit on you. Masha, what is this nonsense you're talking about? I just don't know what to say to you. I'll do anything I can to cheer you up. Let's say you've already cheered me up and call a case closed. Let's go ahead and leave the stupid dance. Mm -hmm, sure. And spoil your birthday? You've got such a beautiful dress. Let's go.
Тайными тропами я шла по первой расе. Hello, Tanya. Do you want to dance with me? Sorry, I don't really feel like it. Why are you behaving as if I'm to blame for everything? I don't get it. That's totally my fault. What's yours to blame? Well, you're afraid I... Uh, I, I understand that. But it's a very good doctor. There'll be no consequences. Mother has arranged for everything. Your mother is a very caring person, Teresa. It'll all be done under anesthesia. You won't feel any pain. I'm already feeling it somehow. That's strange, isn't it? Tanya! Tanya! Hey, man, did you talk to her? You didn't see the sparks fly? Stay back. Tanya! Tanya! Hey, Tanya! Tanya! Tanya, hold on a sec. Tanya, hold on. I need to speak to you right now. What? Tanya, I really like you. How long ago did you make that up? I didn't make it up. I've actually always loved you. Roma, I'm sorry, but I'm not really in the mood to put up with your jokes right now. I'm not joking. Tanya... Tanya, I'm in love with you. Lady, lady, hold on. Lady. Oh, thanks. I don't need anything. I'm not selling anything. Uh, uh, I just want to offer you galoshes. See? They're almost new. No, thanks. I don't need galoshes them. Galoshes are always needed in a village. Oh, take a look. They're almost new. And I'm talking brand Galia. new. Galia. Galia. Good afternoon there. What on earth are you doing? What am I doing? I'm doing my business here. Do you need galoshes? Look how nice they Oof. are. You promised me you'd quit drinking. You promised me you'd find a job. They won't employ me. Who needs me there? I've got a whole bunch of little kids. They say I'll be on sick leave all the time. Hold it, here you go. Take it. This is for your kids. <sighs> go home. Get some sleep and come back to our school. Our cleaner is going to retire. I'll ask the principal to hire you. Uh-huh. Thank you very much. Here, take them. They're good. Go home, Galia. I'll be there. I promise. She's lying. She's not coming. That's my former pupil. She lives in Kozlovka now. Well, then, I'm off. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Over to get the pension. What pension? They're on a lunch break. Would you walk with me? Here, help me. <sighs> oh, she was an A student up until the eighth grade. <sighs> and then she went completely loose. It was so unfortunate. She had nothing but boys on her mind, so she gave birth when she was in the 10th grade. And then her life went totally downhill. Everyone has abandoned her. She was so promising as well. Hmm. All right, take care. Mind the steps. Oh. 
Yes. Here you go. Come on, sit down here. Mm-hmm. Tanya, look. Don't worry, it will be fine. I've paid for everything. Yeah? If they call you and I'm not around, you go. Do you hear me? But I'll come back. Ivan Romanovich is an amazing doctor. He's the best. Everything will be fine in a blink of an eye. Yeah? Is that a deal? Okay, I'll be back. Teresa, let's not lose time. Let's go call Moscow and ask about the admission. But what about Tanya? It's going to be fine. Don't worry. Let's go. Oh, my God. Another one has shuffled off to heaven. Who's that? Who would it be? Just a fish. Oh, come on, you. Cheer up now. Everybody goes through it down the drain. Come back, young lady. It'll be too late. They won't take you. Tanya, where are you going? Stop. Tanya, Stop. just hold on. Let go hold of me on, right I'm now. telling you. Tanya, are you awake? Oh, you're awake, girl. That's just fine. You're a good girl. What's going on with my baby? The main thing is that you're doing okay. The rest will wait, all right? Rest now. I'll be back. looking for me. Do as I say. If you don't come in now, I'll be the one in trouble. Tanya. What's wrong with you? You're violating the hospital rules. You're supposed to stay in bed, but you're always hanging about. I was expecting a visitor. Hmm. Uh, how are you feeling right now? I'm all right. Hmm. Uh, Tanya, look. They'll discharge you without me. My... Vacation will start tomorrow. But I believe I have to tell you this on my own. Tanya, you know probably that saving you was a miracle. And un unfortunately, there were some consequences. What kind of consequences? <sighs> You're back, my baby girl. Oh, 
Shush, shush, shush. It'll be all fine. You'll feel better, my dear. Hmm? They said there's a... possibility that I'll never be able to have kids. How could they possibly know that? Don't worry, sweetheart. Huh? Everything is in God's hands. It will be as God decides. It's God's word. There's no use crying your pretty face off. Do you know how many tears you will need in this life? Hmm? So let's go in. Just wait. I'm going to make borscht just for you. I'll feed you. You must be tired after that trip, right? Yeah, yeah. I went by bus by myself. I thought Cereza would at least meet me there, but unfortunately he didn't show up. But... Cereza left for Moscow already. To attend some kind of special school. One of those mathematical ones I read about. Oh, my dear. No, no, hush, hush, hush. <laughs> Hush. Let's go. Let's go home. Let's go. I'm going to feed you right now. Masha, would you need a goat, perhaps? Why would I need a goat? I searched around the whole yard. How you doing? I don't know, Masha. Tanya. Just don't pity me because I'm on the verge of bursting into tears again. Who would have ever thought he was such a bastard? Mosh. Right, I'll close my mouth. No. Uh, how have you been? I told my parents that I'm not going to the university. But Vasya asked me to marry him. They grumbled for a while and settled. They hope it's a phase, that it'll just peter out in time. Tanya. Tanya. It's going to be fine. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Masha, where have you been, babe? I've been hanging here for a half an hour like a fool. You said five o'clock. Why didn't you come at five? Well, keep on hanging. What's that about? Why are you picking on me already? Who says I'm picking? I've been waiting, and you wouldn't show up. I went to visit Tanya. How's she doing? Is everything okay? Well, what do you think? Her beloved betrayed her. That friend of yours is a bastard. He left Tanya after everything they had. Yeah, well, I feel sorry for Tanya, but I feel sorry for him, too. You do? Of course. Why do you feel sorry for him? He ran away and let her alone. His mother told him to leave, so he had to. Oh, poor little mama's boy. Look at that boy go. Masha, that's enough. He's also my friend, too. Yeah, I completely forgot that you both used the same potty in kindergarten. This is why you can't listen to the truth about him. Masha! And the truth about your Cereza is that he's a coward and a cad! So if you're going to protect him, I don't even know what- Settle down now, settle down now. We should get them back together. He sent me a letter with a return address on it. You know what? Write letters to Cereza yourself. Wait, why would I write to him? Am I a writer? Am I a writer or what? How's your Cereza doing? Has he settled in the capital? Aren't you afraid he'll lose his way? Why on earth would he lose his way? He lives with my relatives. With my cousin, she keeps an eye on him. And he's not stupid either. He knows what higher education is. Mathematical school is the straight way to the world of university. I was just waiting for a letter. This will be 725. All right. Does he ask about Tanya? Why would he ask about her? But I thought they had some kind of love. Oh, what love? 
He's a young guy, almost a child. She used to run after him like a puppy, gave him no peace. He nearly went crazy. Mm, okay. Right. You know, I don't need a barren flower. I want to live to see my Valia. grandkids. What? Valya, Valya. Your tongue is like that of a serpent sent from the devil below. How are you not ashamed to show your face around here? Why are you shaming me? You'd better keep an eye on your granddaughter. I mean, she's always running after some boy. She's the first to jump into bed. Go to hell, you viper! Go straight to hell! I can't... What's wrong? What's wrong? Hold on, dear. Oh, gosh! Run to the post office! Call the ambulance! Why are you standing here? Come on, run! Tanya! Tanya! Hurry up! Your grandma's not feeling well, girl. She collapsed, it's crazy, near the mobile shop. Tanya, how are you? Hello there. Is it true that you're leaving? Yeah, it's true. Where are you going? To my aunt's. Why do you care anyway? I'm just worried about you is all. I don't want you to leave here. Well, that's just great. Why are you standing out here alone? Roma, I'm waiting for the post office to open. I need to call my aunt and ask her to meet me. She's taking custody of me so they won't take me to the orphanage. Will this answer satisfy you or do you want to know anything else? I just wanted to say if you need some help, I, that I would be there to help. Thank you, Roma. I'll remember that. Bye now. Later. What's up, Nopka? Has your leg recovered yet? Well, Tanya, are you ready? I guess so. Don't worry about it. 
We'll keep a good eye on the house. Oh, Masha, where will I ever find a friend like you again? <laughs> Come on now. You'll go to the city and end up forgetting all about me in no time. <laughs> what are you talking about, silly? <laughs> You're unforgettable, you know that? <sighs> Let's go. That woman is evil. She's gonna get hers, I know it. Едем в магазин за звездами с лицами вполне серьезными мне галактику. yesterday by residents of our city, the Karmanovs, on the porch of their house. The infant, who was born only a few days ago, was found on the porch, wrapped in a scrap of old cloth. And at the moment, the infant is in the hospital, where doctors are providing her with all the necessary medical assistance and assessing her condition. Just look at her. Oh. Oh, she is just so lovely. Her hands are so tiny. Mm. Boris, you're safe. How are you? I'm as stubborn as a mule. Why do people leave their children to those who don't need them? I'll achieve it. I'll achieve it. I wish we had one. High time my wife and I had a Don't talk that nonsense. Why is it nonsense? I don't think you're listening to me. Although you have stopped listening long ago. Tanya, don't start that. Tanya, we've beat this horse to death. Let's not come back to it, all right? You didn't have to bring your laptop to the table. I'm meeting a contractor today. I want to make a rough estimate of a new project. <sighs> I'll be in the car. Why haven't you eaten anything? Not hungry. Roma! Yes, hello there? <clears throat> Looks like Petrovic called you. I picked it up, but he hung up. The phone's old. It's just, just acting up. Uh, shall we? not digging around. I just left my phone by mistake. Good morning. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, I guess so. Yeah, kiss to you. Bye. Yeah, I got it. Thanks for your help, Roma. Here we go. <clears throat> Hello.
Hello there. Sorry, Hello. I borrowed your husband for a little. I hope you don't mind. That's all right. It's good for him. Goodbye. Take care now. You look good as a father. Tanya, I'll give you a ride. I have to go to the central office. Hmm. As you wish. Tanya! What's going on? Tanya, hurry up. Casimov's feeling bad. He's choking. <sighs> Kazimov. Tanya, dear. I'm dying. I can't breathe. <sighs> Show me your tongue. Your hands. 120 milligrams of PSL intravenously. All right, we'll give you a jab and the suffocation attack will stop. Everything will be Thank fine. You. Thank you. Thank you. Kasimov got us some sweets as a thank you gesture. Shall we have tea? What is that? What? How could you inject Kazimov with this? What's wrong? He's allergic to all penicillin drugs. You nearly killed him, do you understand? Oh my god. How did I... I mean, I thought... Raya, I understand everything. We're friends. But I can't put up with your irresponsibility any longer. I have to report you. Tanya, don't do it, please. I'm begging you, Tanya, please don't. Raya, this is not the first time. This isn't. I don't know what's been happening to me lately. It just falls out of my head. This is because of my pregnancy, I guess. Please don't report me. I'm begging you. Wait, you're pregnant? Four weeks now. Mm. <sighs> Oh, you're just so silly. Why haven't you told me until now, huh? I'm so happy for you. My sincerest congratulations. I'd go crazy with happiness if I were you. Well, we have to celebrate it somehow, right? With tea and with sweets, yeah? Who's the father if it's no secret? All right, don't tell me if it is. <sighs> Excuse me. Hello? Hello, yes, Roma? How? N no, but you said it would be the next week. No, of course I'm not mad at you. Raya says hi. Yeah. All right, bye. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Goodbye, goodbye. I'm sorry. Huh. <sighs> Hold on a sec. Hasn't it loaded yet? Not yet. All right, don't touch anything here then. I'm going to lunch.
Zoya, how are you? It's Cereza. How is Vanya doing? What, what could happen to him? He's fat and he's full. And he's doing his homework. All right, well, we're very grateful to you. Oh, come on, what do you mean? We made a deal. Goodbye, you're preventing us from doing the homework. Goodbye now. How long are you going to jerk yourself around, huh? You haven't done anything in an hour, Lazy Bones. You're the Lazy Bones. My dad told you to help me do my homework. He's paying you very well for it. Oh, these kids nowadays are so ill-bred, I tell you. And money-minded, too. Are you really going to tell me what to do here, boy? If you don't get down to your homework, I won't be nursing you like you like anymore. That's when your dad's going to have fun. Why are you yelling at me? What, what's, wrong, what, what's wrong with you? Do I irritate you? Of course I irritate you because I can't give you a child. What can I do if my body can't give you one? I can't have children, so I'm useless. What? Should I stop living then? Hmm? <laughs> Nadia, calm down, Nadia. <laughs> Nadia, but we... <laughs> We've discussed it a thousand times already. <laughs> okay, so God isn't giving us kids, but what can we do? Nadia, calm down, come on. It'll just be two of us then. We'll be together. <laughs> Nadia, calm down, come on. <laughs> Yeah? S say what? No, can you explain to me what happened? Vanya started a fire. Yeah, Zoya, I'm coming straight to you. Be cool, be cool. I'm coming, hold on. I'm coming. Opa, hello. Hi there, I've lost my keys. Can you imagine? I've lost them again. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. <laughs> ah, it smells so delicious here. So where have you been for so long? What do you mean, where have I been? I've been at work. Can you imagine? A client came at the very last moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's such a bore. He made mincemeat out of me. No. Well, you're a shock worker as usual. Yeah, Cereza, I'm a shock worker. So what, my dear? I see. How do you think a career is built? Oh. Why is it so quiet? Where's Vanya? He's been fed and punished. What was it today? He started a fire at Zoya's. A fire? A fire. He set the diary on fire and threw it into the garbage can and. <sighs> mm hmm. Vanya? Vanya! What are you doing, you rascal? Mom, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. Why did you ruin the floor? I was bored out of my mind. Oh, you were bored, is that it? Were you bored? That's why, huh? Well, I'm gonna Lyra, entertain Lyra. you. Don't draw on the floor. Are you out of your mind? That's nothing, come on. How is that nothing? Can't you see he ruined all of my makeup? He also ruined the floor. Oh God, I will get you new makeup and we'll just wash the floor. Yeah, sure. I wonder how you would be right now if he had broken your stupid computer. But he didn't break it. Cereza, you're always standing up for him, always. This is why he's becoming such a nuisance and a moron. I'm not a moron. What are you then, what? Tell me, Vanya, are you a normal child? Are you so normal? All right, calm down. That's it. Settle down now. Settle down now. Lyra, let's go and talk in the kitchen. And you clean it all up and go to bed. You know, I don't think we should be leaving Vanya with Zoya. Hmm. She doesn't pay attention to him whatsoever. Hmm. 
She just watches TV shows the whole day long. Hmm. Then find someone else. Listen to me. Perhaps you should engage in raising your own child, too. Our child, that is. Cereza, Zoya was your idea to begin with. Of course, but this is because Nina has moved to another district, and you have no ideas to contribute at all. I've got to work. I've got work that I can't lose either. What do you suggest? Well, I suggest you take a vacation and take care of your own son. Cereza. And we'll find a new tutor in the meantime. Cereza, are you out of your mind? What vacation? Who will let me take a vacation? We're buried with work. If I take a vacation now, I can say goodbye to the head of management department. And I was promised it. Cereza, can, 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 can you take a few days off? Look, I'm taking days off all of the time. If I take another day off, I'll be politely asked to hand in my resignation. <sighs> Listen to me. It is much easier for a man to find a job than a woman. I've got a career. Cereza, honey, I beg of you. Mm -hmm. You know how much I love my job. How hard I've been working towards this. I just can't lose it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lyra! Lyra! Lyra, there's one more thing. Uh, vacation is coming. We need to settle Vanya in somewhere. Uh, I can't take that many days off, unfortunately. <laughs> Honey, why do you make problems all the time? The vacation's ten days. We'll think of something. Lyra. Lyra, Lyra, Lyra. <laughs> Lyra. <laughs> Let's take Vanya over to my mother's house, okay? Hmm? All right, I see now. This is where you should have started. Hold on, what's wrong? This is out of the question, all right? I don't want to discuss it anymore. Well, why though? Because your mother and I will never find a common ground. And you know that very well. Lara. Cereza, I don't understand. Can't you think of something? 10 days, that's ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. Kill me. Morning, honey. Happy anniversary. And what anniversary, though? Well, it's been 10 years since we got married. <sighs> Tanya, I'm so sorry, dear. I completely forgot. Well, that's okay. You'll be forgiven if you invite me to a nice restaurant this evening. 
Tanya. I've got to go on another work trip today. I've agreed already, so there'll be no restaurant. We'll just have to postpone. Mm-hmm. Understood. Tanya. Tanya. Remember how you wanted a new dress? Why don't you buy it? It'll be my present to you. Thank you for remembering. <laughs> Listen, can't you just postpone your work trip? How could I, sweetheart? Tanya, that'd be impossible. Well, won't they let you this once? You've never refused before. That's the problem. Everybody's used to the fact that I don't refuse. And that's how they perceive me now. Management wouldn't understand. I, on the contrary, would always understand your ethic. Tanya. Hmm? Don't be mad, please. Take care. You haven't eaten anything again. Hello there. Raya, pick up the phone. Can't forget you, <laughs> Vanya. Vanya, why are you fooling around? Go and have breakfast quickly. All right, what is this here? What's this? Why did you put this freak in here? He's not a freak. I play with him after school. The teachers allow me to. Should I also put a baby rattle in there? Let's go, everything's getting cold. Happy anniversary, my darling. Tanya. Tanya, hold on, baby.
So I'll pack up and leave. I'm leaving too. We'll split everything up later. <sighs> Please forgive me. How long has this gone on? Although, what's the difference actually? I shouldn't have ever married you. <laughs> you know, I'm actually glad that it played out like this. I won't have to explain anything. Let's both be glad about that, at least. I wish you happiness. You never actually loved me. Good afternoon. Hello to you, girl. Beautiful. One can say straight away that you're from the city. How am I from the city? There's my house there. <laughs> We've been keeping an eye on it. Vasya has been cleaning it of snow, mowing the grass. Oh, oh that's wonderful. Thank How's you. How's it going? You used to write letters at least, but then you stopped. I know. How are you? The girls are already going to school. Can you believe it? <laughs> to school? <gasps> Hello. Hello there. Masha, I need... Here it is, right here. Uh-huh. Cereza is so good. He writes me these letters every week. Good afternoon. You aren't from here, are you? I'm Tanya Rishkina. Oh, that's good. I have to go now. What time does to people? Yeah, first her husband died, then she fell out with Cereza. She's writing letters to herself now. Wait, what do you mean? What I mean is she writes a letter and asks her neighbor to take it to the district center and throw it into the box. She pays her for silence. But you can't hide a cat in a bag here, you know. All right, why are we standing here? Let's go, I'll introduce you to my daughters. Masha, listen. First, I need to sort out a couple of things here. Okay, I'll finish delivering the mail here and come back to help you start settling on in. Yeah, Thanks. come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Masha. Well, we'll have to fiddle around with your room for a while. It needs a lot of work, all right? Window frame's broken, but Vasya promised to repair it as soon as possible, but it keeps getting postponed. That's not very urgent. Masha, listen. Why exactly does Vaya keep on writing letters to herself all the time? What happened between them? God knows what really happened. You know how intense Vaya can be. But Lyra, Cerise's wife, she's even worse. 
The diamond cut the diamond. This Lyra made Cereza turn his back on his parents. He hasn't been here for about two years. Sadly, Volya now has to write letters to herself and pretends they're from Cereza. That's so sad. Yeah, I even feel sorry for her. She also has heart issues. And the paramedic has quit on top of it. What did he quit for? I don't know. Perhaps the salary was too low? Listen, you're a doctor. Do you need a job? I do, yeah. You can't even imagine how happy everyone will be about that, hmm? It's me, Tanya. Wait, who's there? Me, Tanya. Hold on. Why are you here? I didn't ask you to come. I'm your new doctor. You're kidding. <sighs> I was told you weren't feeling too well. <sighs> Let's check your pressure, shall we now? Go away. Go away, I don't need a doctor, that's for sure. You see that? If you want to stay healthy, you better not resist my help, believe me. I'm a doctor, and I have to do my job. Give me your arm, please, okay? You're so strange and so stubborn. I kick you out and you creep back in. Oh, here you are. I went over to your place. Well, how is she? A hypertensive crisis. I hardly persuaded her to let me help. She's lying down now. That's why she's not welcoming me. Yeah, she's in trouble. Look, perhaps I shouldn't have told you. You've got your own problems. Masha, I took the Hippocratic Oath after all. So what's up with you? I wanted to say that Vasya and I have prepared a surprise for you. Mm. Oh, I love surprises. What is it? Well, it wouldn't be a surprise if I tell you. Say, have you brought your camping clothes along with you? Well, yeah. Get out, you weirdos. Weirdos? Oh, isn't this right. wonderful? <laughs> Do you recognize it? We had a lot of fun here by the campfire. Vasya and I had the fight you settled. Throw it. Remember? I do remember. I do. Oh. We also wrote some letters and put them in that bottle, didn't we? Right, right. That's interesting. Under this tree, I think it was. <clears throat> exactly. Think the bottle's still there. I don't know. I completely forgot about it. <clears throat> Yeah. Right Thanks, there. Vazia. I got it. All right. Let's wipe it. Hey, girls. Come on now. Gather up some branches quickly. But we want to play. No way. First the business, then the pleasure. Give me those rackets. Bring back only the dry ones. He's very strict Don't with both die. of them. They're afraid of him, which is perfect. And you have to be even stricter to have them well brought up. Here are the tomatoes. These right here. Mm-hmm. Whoa, there you go. Oh, it's so old and dirty. Can you believe it? It's right here. Okay. Yep. Here, open it. Awesome. Sure thing, no problem. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Nicely sealed, isn't it? No. Oh, that's loose. There you go. All right, I'll go first. Then you, dear. So you want to see too? Yeah, yeah, girls. Get go back quickly. <laughs> 
I want to earn a million dollars and travel the world. <laughs> Look, that's gotta it's be Lesh's note. This is Lesh's dream. He's a shoemaker here in the district. Uh, a respected profession, by the a way. A respected position, that's what I'm saying. Really, a shoemaker? Yeah, for sure. Uh, and mine Read reads it. this. I want a new dress for our prom night. But this is my note, I think, right? Oh, yep, yeah. I remember. I remember. The green I one. It myself. I remember. I'm a realist. I wrote it and I sewed it. I decide everything on my own. Okay. I want an awesome car and a cool chick along with it. Is this yours, William? Yeah. <laughs> You're the winner then. <laughs> See, it all came true. Yeah. <laughs> it all came true. Gotta shake it. I've got the next one. Yeah. Uh, I want to be a star. <laughs> Veronina wrote this one. She couldn't have possibly written anything else. She a star? <laughs> she is, right? Isn't she, Vasya? Yeah. You she's know a she star is, now, right? all right. <laughs> oh, wow. She's a star on her street. <laughs> all right. This seems to look like Cerise's handwriting. For you. What's next, guys? That's it. No more notes. No more wishes. That's all we got. <sighs> Thanks so much. I really appreciate you taking me out like that. That was such a really great time, you know? Got a bit nostalgic. <sighs> You're right. I never got to ask you something. How'd it go that you and Roma got together? Oh, that's a really long story. Well, all right, but we've got plenty of time. So how did it happen? I came back over here. Roma finished school and... He followed me all the way to Moscow. Yeah, he found out my address somehow. He started to visit on Vera and me every day. He visited and visited. And then he asked me to marry him. You shouldn't have agreed to that. Perhaps I shouldn't have, but Aunt Vera liked him. And also, he, he was a very nice guy to me. You know, she used to say, marry first, and love will come afterwards. Well, it didn't come. But it did. I did fall for him. And in general, it was all great. The home, the work life, If I hadn't left, they would have made me the head of the medical department, which would have been a dream. You shouldn't have left Moscow then. No, oh, but I should have. That's not my city. My house is here. It feels so great here. The air, the birds as well. Yeah. Hello again. How are you feeling today? So what now, huh? Are you gonna come here every day now? Warn me now, then. You have bad hypertension. I have to supervise you. I know what to do, girl. Are you gonna give me orders now, too? Oh, God. Ugh. Why in the world do you hate me so much, Valya? I haven't done anything bad to you. Haven't you? Haven't you done anything bad? Why then destroy my family then? Who spun Cereza's head around, huh? He went crazy, absolutely crazy, that boy. I tell you another thing. He got married in a rush too, you know? To God know who either. I hate you, what would I love you for, huh? My boy up and left, and his father lost his heart. <sighs> Oh, my goodness. Uh, Vagya, you urgently need to get to... Don't touch me, Tanya! You need to take your oh, medicine please. and go to bed. I know what I need more than you. Let's just get into the house, please, Vagya. Don't touch me. I can walk on my own. She hasn't done anything. Do I have to love her now? What we certainly don't need now is being angry and nervous. Come on. Anyone could cure me with that idle nonsense.
Come on, keep up with me, son. Daddy, why doesn't Mom love me anymore? What are you talking about? I mean, she swears at me all the time. Mom loves you very much. She just has a lot of work. Be patient with her. So I bet she loves her job more than me, doesn't she? No, of course not. Let's go. The bread's so fresh today. Do you want a feast, dear? No, no thank you. Are you gonna go back to Valia's again? Uh, yeah, I decided to give her a course to sustain her heart muscle. Is she grumbling again? I don't understand how you have enough patience for her. Masha, a doctor has to treat everyone regardless of their personal relations. Is bringing oranges a doctor's duty too? All right, later. Valya, answer the door, will you? Valya, come on, don't be silly. Masha! Masha, call Valya now! Call him now! She's not breathing, right? The pulse is here, I can feel it. It's light, though. I got it. I'm insisting on hospitalization. Do you hear me? You're a doctor, too. You understand it as well as I do, am I right? Why would we occupy a hospital bed? Well, what if she was your mother? Wouldn't you have taken her to the hospital? What do you want from me? The district hospital's packed. Patients are lying in the hallways. I can't take her. The fact is, you know Valya isn't a promising patient. I gotta go. What a bastard. What do we do now? Treat her right at home. We should call Cereza. Brush your teeth and go to bed now. Listen, Lyra, you're gonna go on intimidating him like this? What if I'm about to have a breakdown? Just so you know, he already has doubts that you love him. Oh, don't start all that, please. He'll grow up and understand that I only wanted the best for him. And he should stop eavesdropping on our talks. Are we going to have a conversation, or are you just gonna announce your opinion? Did you think that I would be happy about such a prospect? Your mother never could stand a thing about me, and I somehow have to simply let her live in this apartment. Why would I do such Don't a thing? Scream. Tell me now, then. Vanya's gonna hear you. Anyway, I think that we've only got one option left. To send her to a nursing home. And why not? I can't take care of her. I've got to work. And what I think, though, is that she comes here and lives with us here in our house. <laughs> She's my mother, for Christ's sake. Oh, is that right? Have you even thought how I'll live with her under the same roof with that... Don't you dare. Oh, but I do dare. This is my house too, by the way. And I really don't want it turned into a minefield. That's it, honey. You'll have to decide. It's either me or your mom. There's no third option. You're such a- Mom, do I need to brush my teeth with toothpaste? Are you going to go to bed or aren't you?
Cereza. Cereza, are you coming to bed yet? Think I'm gonna sleep here. So you're offended. All right. I wish I understood you. This is beyond your understanding. How long are your family problems going to last, Mr. Cereza? You know, it seems apparent to me that your Vanya doesn't have a mother. Mr. Ivan, I'm not asking because of Vanya, you see. I'm so fed up with all your circumstances. Who's then going to work? Ivan, if you don't let me take these days off that I'm requesting, I'll be forced to have to hand in my resignation to you. Dad, is Grandma going to bake pastries for us? Grandma is very sick. I don't think she'll be able to bake pastries. Can she make the porridge that I love? No, she can't do that either, son. But then what are we even going to eat there, Dad? We'll make porridge on our own. We're going there to help Grandma. You understand me? <laughs> Valya, you need to eat a little now. You promised me. <laughs> the porridge turned out very tasty. <coughs> don't feed me. I'll die quicker if I don't have any nutrients. What are you talking about? No, come on, just a little bit, let's go. I don't want it. Come in, son, come in. Tanya. Hello there, Cereza. Oh no, just look at your mother. Cereza. Oh, hey, mom. My son. I'm here, I'm here. I... You're here, Cereza. Son, I'm so glad that you've come here. I missed you so much, you have no idea. I'm home now. Please don't cry. These are tears of joy. Vanya, come. Come here. Vanya. I'll help. Let me help oh. you. Off here, it. Vanya. Let me help I'll you. I'll do it. All right, go ahead. I thought I wouldn't live to see you again. That I'd die. Mom, what are you talking about? You're going to dance at Vanya's wedding. <laughs> right, Vanya? I'm never getting married. What do you mean that you won't? <sighs> you won't get married, he says. Vanya isn't a stranger to me. You know that. Mom, I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't come. I've got a job over there, and they... I am. Oh, come on, my boy, my boy. I'm so happy now. God, I'm so happy. Come on. Bring the medicine to your grandma. Go. All right. Come, come over here. Oh, just look at him, this beautiful boy. You know, he looks exactly like his granddad. Yes. All right, let's check. Grandma's blood pressure. Do you want me to teach you? Yeah, I do. Look right there. He's so caring, isn't he? This is the cuff here. Put it on like this, up here, and then fasten it. Tanya! Tanya, I wanted to thank you personally. 
You have nothing to thank me about. What are you saying? You... You are helping my mother. Cereza, this is a normal human thing to do. Anyone would do this in my place. Moreover, this is my profession. Well, but you didn't just treat her. Not everyone would be able to take care of the person who... Stop right there. I would appreciate that. All right, I'll stop. No problem. Cereza, can I ask you a personal question? How could you do this to her? Why in the world didn't you visit your mother in two years? She was waiting for you. She wrote letters to herself as you. She lied to her neighbors, telling them that you were constantly in contact. She hid the fact that her own son didn't even want to know how she was doing. Tanya, I'm really very sorry, but it just played out like this. It's stupid to make excuses, but... The relations were very complicated, and Mother didn't accept Lyra. Lyra has nothing to do with it. I never thought there was so much cruelty in you, Cereza. And I actually thought you really had loved your mom. And this one right here? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Just look at it. Well, how are you? I've been very worried. Why would you be worried about me? Well, you know, Cereza has come back. Well, he's here, and so what? I think you're putting on a brave face. Look, you're stroking the photos. I'm just remembering is all. I remember how we took these that day. Vasya got a camera, and we took photos the whole day. Mm-hmm. He covered the sauna window with a towel and printed them up, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Tanya, maybe destiny put you two together for a reason. Masha, don't be so stupid, please. He has a family. Mm -hmm. The wife who set him against his own mother? Is that a normal family? Well, I don't know. Of course you don't. You never had a normal family. Yes, and I won't. I don't even want to think about something like that after Roma. Tanya, we're not even 30. Why wouldn't you? Your life has only just begun. Mm. Tanya. <laughs> Hey, city wuss, get lost. This ain't your town. You're nothing but a country wuss. I'll punch you in the eye. And don't knock your head off. What is this? What are you doing? Vanya! Vanya! Vanya, let go! Stop it! Vanya! Stop that's it! That's it! That's it! Now, break it up! Break it up Come right on. now! Now, go home! That's boy. enough, boys. Home now! Home now! Home now! Home now! Home now! Uh, God! Let's go! Let's go! Vanya! Vanya! Freak. Vanya! You're an stop. Idiot. stop! 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 You're better than this! It takes stop. one to know one, you know uh. that! Go home, boy! Go home! Uh. Oppa! Uh. That's it! Yeah. Why are you frowning like that? 
Like two bulls. <laughs> I'm going to treat your wounds now, okay? Vanya, come on, show me your hands. Hmm? <gasps> Look at you, your hands are so strong. You're not even crying. It doesn't hurt at all, really. Is that right? I'm out of here. Where are you going? You got a guest gear. You need to treat him with tea. We will, right, Vanya? I'll go and make tea, and you'll bring cups and cookies. What do you think about that, son? I'm not gonna give him tea, Dad. He's a fool. No, you're a fool. Why'd you bang on the fence with a stick? This is my fence. I'll do whatever I want to. It's boring for Vanya to be alone in the village. He has no friends. This is why he's fooling around. <clears throat> Tanya, there's raspberry jam in the kitchen locker. Bring it over here, please. Do you guys like raspberry jam? Mom, I'll get some tea for you. It's good that Valya is starting to get up from her bed. But you should still keep an eye on her, right, Sariza? Of course, sure. Tanya, thank you for everything. You're welcome. Uh, for what, though? For helping me deal with the boys like you did. Actually, Vanya is quite secretive about things. He seems to be a normal kid. He's a bit obstinate, sure, but that'll pass. Uh, Lyra and I can't do it like that. You've got some kind of special contact with the children. I need to go. I'll walk with you. No, you don't have to. I know the way, bye. I've got a really cool game. The monsters are awesome. I'll show it to you later. And I've built a really cool shelter by the river. I'll show it to you when we go outside. Tanya. <sighs> Tanya, we need to have a conversation. You and I don't need to talk, Sariza. Tanya. I understand that I behaved like a total bastard 10 years ago. I do, I get it. You'll hardly ever be able to forgive me. It's history now. I've stopped remembering the past long ago. I suggest you do the same. But I can't forget it. I want you to tell me something now. Do you remember how we tried fixing your mother's porch? The porch had been broken long ago. I'll fix it for you. Don't bother. I'll still fix it for you. Do you remember how I left that bike in the yard back then? Not to wake up your grandma? Oh, yeah. And she woke me up and whipped me with a wet towel anyway. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. Therefore, I failed to escape the punishment. Your grandma was a harsh woman. I remember you feared her like the plague. Not really. I just really didn't want to upset the poor woman. She held me accountable not because she hated me. She just wanted me to be happy. How can you blame her for that? I couldn't. Vanya, where on earth are you going? I'm playing with the planes. Come over. Oh, but who promised to read a fairy tale to me? Don't you remember? All right. Come on, my boy. Read the fairy tale, good. The dragonfly had been choosing a flower to welcome her guest on for a long time. It had to be very large and beautiful. And then the ladybug came and said to the confused dragonfly, why don't you have your picnic in the field of sunflowers? A field of sunflowers. All right, guys. 
Take a look at my exceptional work. Thanks so much. Well, it's time for you to go, I guess. Uh, right. Uh, well, Vanya, let's go home. Grandma's waiting for us. Aunt Tanya, will you come over and visit us again? Well, of course I'll come over. I'm treating your grandma. Did you forget? I'll read you some more of the fairy tale then. Well, that's a deal. All right, let's go. Hello? Cereza. It's been a week since you left, hasn't it? I haven't heard from you. I'm worried. Lara, we're doing all right. Don't you worry. You could have at least called me. Have you dealt with the documents? What's up with the nursing home? Lara, we've talked about this at home. The discussion is over. What a bastard. Teresa, come here, will you? You know I've been thinking. I know I'm a burden on you. Mom. Hold on a sec. Lyra hasn't become very close to me. And I'm a strange person for her, too. She doesn't have to fiddle with me. And you don't have time to sit by my side, either. I'm afraid of being alone. I'm so tired. Send me to a nursing home. I don't want your family to be destroyed because of me. Mom. Promise me one thing, will you? Promise me that you will never think about this nonsense ever again. Now promise me. Tanya, hmm? Take a look at my hand, please. It hurts. I can't move it. Could it be dislocated? Let's have a look here. Ah, uh, it hurts. It hurts. Mm-hmm. Like that, yeah. Like that? Yeah, the same. Uh-huh, like that. Mm-hmm. I think this is a sprain. We need to put on a tight bandage. Mm -hmm. And keep the hand immobile, if possible. <sighs> Cereza comes to visit, as I see. Well, yeah, he does. He dropped by to fix the porch. The porch. Well, yeah, the porch, so what? No, that's nothing. You know, you can hit me on the head with the slipper, but, uh... I still think Cereza really loves you. <sighs> Masha, I think you're poking your way into my business now. <sighs> anyway, Cereza, he made his choice ten years ago. What choice did he make? Don't you remember how he made that decision? They made mincemeat out of him and sent him to that stupid school. Fact was, his mother decided for him. He didn't have a say in anything. Perhaps you're right, yes. But it won't change anything now. Where are you going? To the Nagloves. They say that Slava is ill. He has a very high temperature. You know what, Tanya? You can say, of course, that it's none of my business. Vasya always says that I poke around something wrong all the time. But, uh, I tell you this. 
Have mercy on this man. He's a good guy. A good guy? You know, I was told that Roma was a good guy as well. That he loved me too. I was told that I should marry him. What came out of it? Roma's another story. I haven't told you the important thing. Several years ago, Cereza came to visit us. He and Vasya had a drink. And then he spent the entire evening telling me that you were the one and only love of his life. And he kept telling Vasya the same thing the whole night. He doesn't love his wife one bit. Do you understand? Just don't say that I made this up on purpose. Masha, I'm not saying it. And I'm not thinking it. Unlike you have been. That's a pity. Then I realized that he stole a photo from our album. Do you understand? One of you two. Don't you see? Masha, I understand it all. But he does have a wife. Anyway, you can't step in the same river twice. Dad, will Mom come to visit us? I guess she will. Here, hold it. Here, get all wet, you see. Hmm? Dad, do you miss Mom a lot? Why are you asking me that? Want to be back in the city? No, it's great here at Grandma's well, place. Then, let's go to Grandma's then. Come on. Thank you, dear. Aunt Tanya, you promised that you would read a book to me. I thought you were going to read to me, weren't you? All right, very well then. I'll read it myself. And then a whole crowd of guests gathered on the gigantic sunflower. There were butterflies, there were fireflies, bugs, ants, centipedes. Centipedes. Tanya, why do you still have a coat on? Is it cold? Yeah, no, just a little bit. A little. Cereza. What's up? Bring more firewood, will you? There's some there. Well, bring some more, please. <sighs> Yeah, sure thing. Grandma, can I go out with my dad? Of course, you'll have fun together. Tanya, there's a box on the shelf over there. Bring it to me, please. Oh, sure. Tanya, hey, come and help me. Look what I found over here. What have you found? There's only rubbish. Ta-da! <sighs> Sit next to me. Open it. Take it. This is for you. You sure? Come on, you don't have to. Why me? I have to, dear. It's very old. It belonged to my mother. Cereza's grandmother. 
Take it, I'm begging you. I can't take it. I'm sorry, I... I'm so sorry. I can't. Tanya. I'm guilty before you. Take it. I'm begging you, please take it. Valya, forget the past. Please, I'm begging you. Please do. The past is haunting me these days. I know that I broke your whole lives, yours and Cereza's. Forgive me, take it, I'm begging you. I forgave you a long time ago. <laughs> I know that, my dear girl. I know that. Careful. Take care of your... Pressure will rise again. Look what I found outside! Blue is for the boys and red is for the girls. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> they found the helmets. <laughs> Aunt Tanya, wanna try it on? Oh, wait. No, no, thanks. I've already tried it. All right. Uh, let's have tea then. How's that sound? Let's have tea! Mm. Go on. Go on, I'll get some sleep. Go, dear. You know what? I think Valya is going to get quite better. By that I mean real soon now. Do you remember the day your grandma fell really ill? We rode the bike together. It was storming so hard. Uh, Cereza, what's this again? We had made an agreement, right? All right, I won't bring up the past again. I appreciate that. And I hope you'll keep your word this time. All right? Tanya, I still love you. Tanya. Cereza, you can't do this, okay? And you love me, too. You have a wife, come on! A wife? She and I have been strangers for a while. As soon as I saw you, it's... It's as if those ten years never happened. Cereza, I'm begging you. Forget about all that. I'm begging you. Just forget it, Cereza. Does it hurt? Mm -mm. You've got a light hand, dear. <sighs> Thanks for everything, Tanya. You're welcome. And this is my job. Thank you for accepting the gift, though. If you help me, I'll most definitely repair it. Then we'll go to the river, then. We'll see about that. But you promised to take me for a ride on it, and promises must be kept always. If I promise, then I'll do it. Will Aunt Tanya go with us? Do you really want Aunt Tanya to come with us? Oh, yeah. She's really cool. In that case, we'll have to wait till Sunday, because Sunday is her only day off. I'll go and tell her right now. Hold on, wait, wait. Wait, hold on a second. 
What are you gonna tell her? The bike's not working. We need to fix it first. What if you don't get it started? What will you tell Antonia then? Come over here. Yeah, come here. Come here, son. There. Look there, right there. Hold on. Here we go. Hold it. Press it. All right. Hold on. Opa! There you go. It's the ignition, perhaps. Yeah. I asked you to wait for everyone. I'm hungry. What can I do? What's the meat for what? me? What? Look. Here they are now. I love you so much. All right, all right. Ha! My <laughs> man! <laughs> Come on, I'm going to introduce everyone. What's up, bro? Good to see you. And you too. Tanya, what's up? Hello. What is your How name? Are you? Vanya. Hello. Sasha. And Hello. Dina. Tanya. Sasha. Oh, Tanya. Food. Dina. And no, this is how are you? Do you want to play some ball with us? Well, why are you being shy? Girls, take him and go play. Take him, please. Yes, yes, and wash your hands in the river. All right, guys. Guys, I've got come my together. Eye on you. A little closer. <laughs> one, two, three. Say cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. What is this? Yeah, that is one. Is this the same camera? Yeah. This is my pride and joy. Oh. Oh, okay, well, what are we gonna eat? Mwah. Maybe we should start <laughs> eating soon. What's this device? This is my baby. Don't worry, I got it. What nope. do you think about nope. her? That's something. Do you like I'm literally her? Literally speechless. Oh, so yeah. So speechless are you? We came on time, you? by the way, as we agreed. Yeah, so I told you, know. you she would. Right, you did. You did. <laughs> I got this here. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Masha, do you need a hand? <laughs> no, we've put everything out. That's just not enough room. Here we good go. Job. There. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, all right good here. job. Here you go. Ah, <laughs> this looks good. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> you and Tanya. Can you do this? <laughs> you know, it's as if those years in between never happened. I'm afraid of losing her again. She's helped my mother so much. I know. Tell me then. Is she dear to you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Banzai! <laughs> <laughs> Guys! Guys, come on, let's go! It's all like some magic dream, you know? A dream that's about to end. And I'm very afraid of waking up. But why does it even have to end, though? Tanya, can't you see that Cereza loves you? Here it is, dear. You just need to reach out. I just don't trust myself. Guys, come together! Say cheese! Yeah. Have you forgotten what she did to you? You know, Masha, I've seen so many different things over these 10 years. <sighs> We're all miserable. We're all hurt. We all need love. It's just how it is. Don't blink, you two. Okay, come on. Okay. <laughs> Teresa, Vanya, we have to get going. All right, let's do this. Already? I'm sorry, it's time. Already? Huh? Yeah. Will you come to see quick. us again? Will yes, you? we Bye. will. <laughs> no, of course not. Woo! Wow! Woo! Yeah! Opa. Well then, let me help you off. I want to help you too! How interesting. Thank 
you. Here? Let's go inside. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Overcome with happiness, honey? Hera? Mommy? Nice to meet you. Hello there. Valya, I'll wash my hands and we'll set the system right away. I'll set the systems with you. You're having fun here, as far as I can see, it seems. My dear boy, I've offered Lyra soup, but apparently she didn't want any. In addition to soup, there are cutlets. You want some? Thank you, honey. I've had my lunch. Aunt Tanya, do I really have to return to the city with my mom? <sighs> well, you need to decide that with mom and dad, not with me. Would you explain what's going on around here? Have you become rich? Hmm. Hiring a private nurse and all? Tanya's not a nurse. She's a doctor. Tanya. <laughs> Tanya. <laughs> Have you decided to relive your youth? Lara, stop it right now. No, you stop giving me a long song and dance. Why have you come here? To draw papers? Well, draw papers already. If you don't stop screaming, I'll have Just to- Just stop! Don't swear at my daddy or Aunt Tanya either! Nobody asked you, you little brat. I'd better get going now. Tanya, you're not going anywhere because, well, because I still love you. <laughs> Wait a second. Are you out of your mind? You, you're out of your mind. That, that's what you are. I knew it would come to this. How interesting. Of course this. You 15 years old or something? You just had to go to your mother's, that's all. That's it. Our family is over. Lyra, Lyra, don't do that. What are you saying? How are you not ashamed in the presence of the kid, Lyra? What is with you? What am I talking about? Your son is cheating on me, and I'm the one who has to be ashamed? I'm going to Aunt Tanya's. Hold on. And on top of everything right now, you've set our child against me. Lyra, can we break up like normal people? Why do you need it all? You've always had your job in the first place. It's always the most important thing for you. <sighs> you think I'd leave my child with you? I'm not giving Vanya to you. You won't, but the court will. <laughs> I can assure you. Do you want to settle it in court? I'll arrange it for you. You won't ever see him again. <sighs> Lyra. Lyra, how can you do that to the boy? Shut up. No one cares about your opinion, Valya. Vanya, get ready now. Just be cool, man. You good? I'm taking you. Do you understand what you've done? Stop following us already. We'll find the way. Hey, why are you dragging your feet? Come on, let's go. Vanya, I'll show you, boy. Mom, can I stay with Dad? I don't want to go to the city. I want to live with Grandma. Your dad needs you like he needs a friggin' hole in the head. No, he needs me. Dad loves me. Put on your hat now. No! Chill out. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, Artem, hello. What is it? W what? You mean me? Deputy Director General? Of course I do. Of course I can. I'll be there. I'll be there in the morning. <sighs> yeah. All right. <sighs> Vanya, come over here right now. Who am I talking to? Am I playing with you? Let go of him. 
Vanya is staying with me now. <sighs> well, all right. That's fine. Let... Let him live here. You know, for a while. We'll deal with it later. Goodbye. Well then, to Grandma's? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You can never leave, Lara. You guys have Vanya. Lara, she went back home. And Vanya's staying with me. Not just marry me already. Do you remember when we buried that bottle with those wishes 10 years ago? I remember, but what's your answer? Look, this is what I wrote on mine. Сапогах, с улыбкой на 